All right, everyone, we're waiting for all the streams to come back on. What happens here? Plus one point back, right? Are we on yet? Looks like the frames are still. How's it looking? It takes a while for me to know whether or not the frames are being ship bags or not. Nice, nice. We'll see if it stays that way. Hopefully it does. All right, let's turn Randy on. That's it. No more Dion. Okay. Oh, wrong one. There's nothing here. <laughs> I hope it wasn't me that scared the shit out of you. Fuck, look at his face. Alright, we are going to play the first one normal. Let's kick this at him, bust him in his ass. Wah! Alright. Uh, let's come in and see what we got. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to. Oh no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I finished all the Reach Elites. That's okay though. Oh man. Just wasted that. Second and Oh, <laughs> it was me. <laughs> Sorry, man. My bad, my bad. That worked the exact way I wanted it to. So, 
Let's see how this game plays out now. That trip, just let me fall out of bounds. God damn it. Oh, come on. Gotta get Joe. Oh my god. What they should do. There's only three plays. The plays should be the top three buttons. And then X should be what you use for your screen. X shouldn't. You should be able to set it up where X isn't one to pick a play. You got a chance to run, boy. Now a handoff here to his running back. Oh. Fine, fine. I'm no longer jumping. I'll just take the shit out of bounds since apparently having leapfrog doesn't fucking matter. Whole quarter getting wasted. These times I don't get tackled going out of bounds. Boom, 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 boom. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot there, tech kid. And look like some movement there. Let's get the call. The full start backs him up five, first and fifteen. And he'll give it here to his running back. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he'll take it into the Aha! I actually got one. I hate when those ones come up short. Reggie Bush. 41 yards. And the Browns have taken the Well, listen. One, I appreciate that you're watching me, so you can fall asleep watching me anytime you want. Um <laughs> but that is pretty funny. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. They're always consistently here. I hope we can build this community up so that there's a bunch more people for you to be able to chat with and have a good time with besides just me. Hey Madden, were you around when I um? Oh sh! Come on! Oh. 
we were around when I set up this thing, Maddie. Oh. <laughs> right now under here. Like, did you see this though? Since I got a stream deck, I set this shit up. I think I talked to you about it. So that way I can just push a button. I'm going to set up a bunch of little things like that. That way when I, when I intercept somebody, when I pick off a ball, I'll have one for a pick six. I'll have one for touchdowns. I'll have one for when I, uh, which it sells. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the fourteen. And he's loose again. Pass the twenty. Touchdown, Detroit. He goes 86 yards on the kick return. And the Lions able to get this back within a touchdown. Now Blankenship on for the PAT. And it's good. It cuts it to two. 16-14 our score. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I just didn't remember. I was like, was he on with me? Leave that on for a little bit. Hi, baby. She can't hear me. She has a headphones on. Yeah, I guess who else would I have been talking to about? Who about it with? Right, there goes rushing touchdown number three. To a monster game, three first half touchdowns, and the Browns are able to strike quickly for six. Let's go check out the yards. They didn't really have a lot of penalties, so those yards are probably off a bit. Yeah, so we still need 14 more yards. Hell yeah, man. I call you. Instead of little stream helper, let's just call you stream partner, man. I appreciate all the help. Been a nerd for a long time. I know how to do most of the stuff. But I really wasn't a huge stream guy. I watched lots of how-to videos on, on WoW when I played it and 
Magic when I played it, all of that shit. But I was never really a Twitch guy. So I gotta figure all this shit out. Nice little separation. Let's get our 14 yards now. Before the two minute warning. We gotta make it basically to the 20. There we go. Whee! Hell yeah, man. That'll be awesome. I'll do everything I can to support you, brother. We'll get you links. We'll get you raids. Anything I can help. Anything I can do to help, I will. Who am I playing against that was fast enough to track him down? And look at that separation. Yeah, you know what, man? It's only a little bit. And then, once you get used to just kind of chatting to the camera, it's actually easier to not be shy. And then you find yourself just kind of doing it by second nature. I sometimes have the exact same... Oh! And then you dive at him and miss, giving them a free two points. Thankfully, I don't think that counts against me, but how fucking annoying is that, right? So now they're going to fucking tie it because of that fucking bullshit. It's a fucking four-point swing. But anyways, like I was saying, I kind of find myself doing it even when nobody's on. I talk through the plays that I'm doing or have the same kind of... Hey, everyone. Not to that extent, but that... With mentality when I'm playing. Explanation. Look, did you see that? Look how bullshit that shit is. Nobody's. I'm not even screaming. No, it's, yeah, well, I'm going to say he crossed the goal line, so I'm still going to say it's mad. Not Carr. I like Carr. I can like him a lot. I'm half tempted to put him in in weekend league. I know they all are supposed to have the same release, but there's something about his Gen 3 that just, maybe it's the way I play with him. I'm not expecting to run with him. Oh, 
is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Car now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. Devontae Adams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Browns have taken the lead. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Rolling to his right. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. 33 seconds. I think that's could almost be enough to get them their touchdown and then get one for myself. Get back with 20 some seconds left. What was that all about, babe? Rodrigo Blankenship on for the PAT. And this is now a one point game. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Browns going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And we'll see how aggressive they want to be in these final stages before the half. Start doing from now on with this play. Double teaming that fucker. Should be a for sure easy touchdown. Oh, shit. That's what I've been doing wrong. Oh, my God, guys. Oh. Oh, he's not going to be open. At least get the first down. Try it again. There we go. He's gonna take a shot at the end zone. Why not? Come on! 99 speed Calvin Jump. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL. I don't I just I don't understand. I don't I just I just want to understand the things that happen. I'm assuming the game is telling me that I needed to step up into the pocket and risk getting hit there because going back seven yards was just too far. To you, is it your birthday tomorrow? Oh, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. I see it now. I, didn't, I couldn't see the uh, logo. Oh yeah, I definitely will. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Thanks for the thanks for the note. I wouldn't have known. That bro is good people. Glad I met him. Side complete. That's Adams. Touchdown, Browns. 
fuckers. Don't need to worry about my first downs, but that was the same defense that made me fumble. Yeah, it is. The problem with doing it, as would be expected, is that you get instant sheds on the defense, and then you just get somebody sacking you, so... I, you definitely have to step up when I didn't have this system and I had to rely on running all the way back um, the punt returns to get double yards. I spent a lot of time testing that out, just finding the best way to throw those touchdowns. And I still say verticals with fade is probably better on the outside. But you just, that's a really good play to run that clears out one side. Generally allows the safety just to cover him. So if that happens soon enough, I don't have to step up in the pocket. There's enough distance. But that was not the case there. Still need like 15 first downs. It's basically two to three full drives. Come on. Almost picked off. Yeah, a lot of people do that, but the problem is if they put, um, if they've got a good head shit, if they have a good defensive tackle, there's some annoyance that can happen there with the defensive tackle doing an instant shed and then the. And getting the sack. You lie, but I'm gonna call you a bitch. Car will look to throw. Flush to his right. And they're a perfect five for five now on two point conversions as he is in to get him two more. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Forgot. 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 And again, worst pain thing, I just completely, like, you completely fall into, like, a rhythm. You're just not even paying attention. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game. Wasting my time. Saquon. 
typically one guy makes a big play and that can help change things well, they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now back now at ford field it's the lions trailing but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter now this pass into the hands of Saquon. great job just leaving him wide the fuck open Like, literally, I bring you close to your guy and everything. And they just... Man, you just can't play a perfect game here. The closer you are to perfect, some shit like that happens. I fuck up. I let them fucking keep the kickoff. And then it's literally one defensive stand. And I can't get the fucking shit off. And look at this. Well, thank you. Drop I don't understand these people who say they play fucking mid blitz for the whole game. I don't understand it. Like that shit happens to me every fucking play. There's something that people are doing with mid blitz that I don't fucking understand. Maybe. Maybe if you come out and fucking un uh thank you. Yeah, don't worry, I can't run a fucking back because I don't have back. I have 21. I need nine more first downs still. in succession not sure this d knows what hit him but now they got to get ready it's first and, go and he is gonna go down like when i know it's coming i don't even understand why i still snap that play sometimes there's just something inside of me that's broken like i know this is in the stupid gj bullshit No forgetting that I'm supposed to let them score this time. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And there he goes again. Past the 20. And he brings this one all the way back. So definitely good for the individual stats. Maybe not for our storyline, but he's in for the late score. Blankenship out for the point after. And that one makes this an 11 point deficit now. Onside kick time for them. I'd like to get it and run it back, right? Because we still need 87 more rushing yards. And six more first downs isn't going to matter. 
We can't run it back. We can't. So the most we can get here is four. There's still plenty of time to get another drive, too, though. So there's no reason to do anything stupid. Just get our two or three here. One. Get three here, and then we just need three after another drive. No! Man, it's like the game. It's like that. I just can't win. I cannot win for the life. If I would have stepped back three more yards, which I was trying to do, that would have been uh, enough to get another first down. Here are the things I need right now, right? Those are, that's the thing I'm short the most on. If we just field this after the clock, if we just field this in such a manner that we can run back, we only got to get back with 20 yards. Be able to hit both of our last thresholds. Just need to go back 20 yards. Damn it, and they kick it up again. Now uh, that one we didn't get last time hurts. Right on the money. Get all three of these. No chance we get four right. I think so. Might be. Might be. Those two. Easier to throw this from the ten than it is from the five. Look like one of the Browns might have moved. And they'll try again here first and goal after the false start. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. What are we at? Twenty-nine. Got one yard short, one first down short. Doing, baby. Now Carr. What? Rolling to his right. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up to you have ice cream? Yeah, I guess I will I have to take it or will. Glad that place is open again. Yeah, right now though. You said prepare. Glad that place is open. Love you. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and that cuts this lead down to 13. 
So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores. Right. I don't care where we get it. Just get it. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just be one first down. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. It's still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this. Well, we could do that. That could be the first attempt. Get an extra touchdown here would be nice. Just a little cherry on top of the ice cream. Nah. Fitting, fitting, huh? 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 There we go. Decent game. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is Let's go see. You stop us. We're not supposed to How would we do? 25-7, 25-6, That's a good first four games. That is nice. That's nice, nice. So mind you, if I got 27, I mean 25 on the next game, 25-650 would put me at... 130,000? No, 128,000. Am I just stupid here? Calculator. Yeah, 25. That's what I keep messing up. That number doesn't sound right. So, I am on pace to do... 128,000 in the first five games. That puts me at number four. Man. I want to save it for the end of the week. But I also just want to play it. I think we play it. What do you guys think? I agree. All right. Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek. Some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. And that person is getting 26,000 a game. Well, we thought this could get interesting. Here's interesting. An onside kick to start this thing. This is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. Love to go find out what that person is doing. All right, so I want to squeeze block them. So let's force them to not run. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. One down. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. 
Do this and let's get this ball back. Hey. Oh, all right, he dropped it. Saw it on the floor. Perfect. Got our one defensive stand out of the way. I would love to go find a vid, see a video of what that guy is doing to get 26,000 a game. That's like a bunch of perfect games. What's up, Wishing? Welcome to the party. How you doing, man? Yes, you do. You can pretend all you want. I know you want to be part of the party. Party! And you know what's more important than that wishing? You are part of the party. Yeah, you can pretend. Tell all your friends. I'm being forced to go by my mom. Then you get out and you have a good time playing football with your cousins. I would agree with that. I love the observation. And here's the thing. Their game plan coming to fruition. You knew that they came in. And now they're proving that they can and doing it in a big way. How'd your weekend league turn out last week? Oh, that sucks. Family stuff with the holidays and whatnot. You started 12-0 and and then you couldn't finish it? Fuck, that sucks. It's Easter, though. What are you going to... That's why I run it in. Come on, man. Again, I just hate the stupidity. Look, I'm moving. I stopped the fucking trigger. You can see me slow down. I stopped the trigger. Nobody's near me. What's the purpose of that? Damn, man. Don't run towards my people. Thank you. Byron Jones is pretty nice there off of the edge. He's got some kind of... I'm going to look up what his agility is. I wonder if it's agility or change of direction that makes him feel so quick on those little movements there. Even though it's coming off the edge on a pump block, he like he doesn't feel like he gets hung up nearly as much as Dion would there. So that penalty will back him up half the distance. 
distance to the goal line. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. Second and nine. Partner, you know, man. Break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you're up on the shitty defense, every play. Let's go. It's going to be a long ass game if that's the shit we're going to have to deal with. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. And he'll give it here to his running back. And some room to run now. And he'll have no jumping over him. Even though I tried. Already in this first quarter. Yeah, if the lanes are there, go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is. Putting his foot in the ground and going. They'll run on first down. It's Bush. Ah, I got one. Sucker. J. Rion curse. Good defense. That's going to be two in a row. Now a handoff here to his running back. And that'll oh, fucking slow. I don't know what to do with this line to make that not happen, man. It's the worst of all of them. Like. Guys are 99. They both have pool early. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Nothing quite as frustrating as this game right now. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. It's going to rotate forward. Makes it another one with a stupid block in. Oh my god. Yeah. I'll lose this whole fucking quarter, man. One touchdown in the first quarter. After one, a one point game, seven to six. On first down, Bush. And he will reach the eight yard. We go out of bounds again for you guys. So at least I'm getting some first downs, right? Knock some of those out. I'm going to have to do that later anyways. It's the one benefit of this. How many first downs did I end up with? Uh, that's fine. It's not too shabby. I'll take six. Short kick from the 14. 
And he's loose again. The 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. He goes 86 yards on the kick return. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Lutz good on the extra point. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game. Ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days. Offensive linemen still want to fire out. Okay, yummy defenses. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play. And that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And he's got some space here. And he will take this into enemy territory as he's out of bounds. I don't know if them getting points for them because I'm not seeing it showing up at the top, but it's fun nonetheless. Guess is the Madden dude fell asleep. What about you, Wishing? What are you doing right now? Look like one of the Browns might have moved. The full start backs him up five. Oh, you get on, man. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. Like when that happens, that's what you're supposed to do. Motherfucker. It's fine. That out there is not horrible. But you're supposed to, when that full block comes out, and you see the full block goes instead to get the safety. But they jet past him and in. It's basically the same formation again. On second down now. It's Bush. Room to run inside the 40. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. Two minute warning. Two minute warning for me. No disassemble theme team. Yada yada yada. How we look on yardage? What's the yardage? Three twenty three. Good. We're done. We're done rushing. Learning all the tricks on that. Like sometimes you don't want to dive them. You want to grab them and run away. Sometimes you want to cycle through them and run them like that.
So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. Taken in at the three. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments. Oh, give us good defense so we can throw the ball. He did not count me outside of that. That's okay. On play action. Now car. And that's complete to Oh, we're got whoever the corner is on him is not gonna let him get the animal. So a sugar rush. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. Here's Carr to throw. It's caught here by Adams. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, so far, a little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first down. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Steps away to his left, and he takes a shot on the release. You're gonna need to get open faster than that, man. Seriously. I already lost my fucking X Factor because of you, and then fucking free firing or engaging eight every fucking play. Well, I could not, in that case, get myself to go back. I have to make another first time. Oh, come on! He's fucking shit! Ah, stop annoying defense after annoying defense. Second. Yeah, we're not gonna risk it. Ain't gonna risk it for the biscuit. Really interested in why Byron Jones feels so fast. Taking it about the one. And they'll be backed up. So much for trying to find a hole there. A little under thirty seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and ten. Car gonna throw. No, no, no. Oh. And no clue what all happened there. Okay. 
So just switch off on the double team and let him through. And then you just run into double coverage and just stand there. Need the first downs, but I want this touchdown. Not against this defense. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure your team is set before it's you. Pretty begin much the, the same look, but they didn't shift into it this time. Got four seconds left to get this one. Basically, have one attempt. They come out in the same fucking weird defense again. Bring the safeties down. I'll take it. Okay. Now we come here. That worked out perfect. We got a 10 point lead here. Take that up to an 18 point lead. So we can actually try on this back. Don't care about losing some first downs. We should be doing pretty good. We already got 204 yards. So we're going to need four drives already. We got an average four ish. First down to travel. Yeah, just gotta whip it out. Because look at this. I mean, I don't know what else to do with these. I've got myself already five on the line. So I'm blocking seven. But when you block seven and they bring eight, because of the stupid double team there, why are you taking the double team? Oh, did it again. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and ten at the forty-seven. Oh, and I waste a fucking timeout, man. Just gotta stop doing that shit. Shit's gonna make the, it already has in the past, but it's gonna make all the difference. Keep it up. This one's trying. Trying to make it annoying. It's trying to make us slip up. Now a play fake. Car. Dancing to his left. 
He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Your fucking defenses, man. And now we've got flags down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. motion again and that's going to be two in a row oh goodness lord let's go for the third one and now movement again and they'll march even further backward they fake the handoff now car he finds his man complete it's adams and he'll have it in the red zone sure. before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they still want this first down, so stay out of the end zone. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Nope. Nope, I ain't fucking around with you. I know what you're trying to do over there on that edge. Aren't stupid. Hey, nope, I know you guys are doing too. I go back 15 yards. I don't give no shits. This is the NFL of Tom. Or Boxy. Right, you better give me that fucking touchdown. Snuck that bitch in the corner. The corner. Opening kick off of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. They'll try and throw for it. They'll roll him out right. And he will get into the end zone to bump the lead up to three scores. the touchdown it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away a fairly short kick from the 14 and there he goes again oh the only person who gets happy when they actually score when the opponent scores need it and the Bengals are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third Buddy, got the animation and everything. Yeah, the third one yard to the third one. Yard. And so we try to run kids back. That's what I did. That shit back. Get off my shit. So here's a first and ten now down inside the twenty. Play action. Now it's Carr. He hits Adams complete. Uh, he's got this almost to the forty before going out. I think that lit me up. Now we get into the psychology of the should be able to see our defenses again. They almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team. Oh look, cover zero. Who would have ever guessed that they would do something to cover zero? Hmm. Free saw o blast. Saw o blast. Oh. Not interested. You cover six, you cover nine, or whatever the fuck you're running. But then running cover one man. Well, not cover one man, but. Oh, nice. Pick up the mount real quick. And nowhere to fit that football ah. in. It's knocked away and incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Oh, I'm getting super tired. 
Finish this game, go right to bed. Finish this game, go right to bed. Oh no. All my life I've been waiting. Tonight there'll be no masturbating. Oh, maybe there will be. You know what? Might as just get out of it. Not working so well when I block it, so. And now we've got flags down. Looks like one of the Browns might have moved. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Now Carr. Cover one schemes are so much easier to deal with. What is this? This is just this. Pick the wrong play by hitting X. And now we've got flags down. Looks like one of the Browns might have moved. A false start backs him up five. First and fifteen. Again, and they'll march even further backward. Now, Carr toward the sideline, and look at that catch dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. Nope. Uh, actually, I could I could run this one. I've already audible. On coverage, not on blitz. Like one of the Browns might have moved, and they'll try again here first and goal after the false start. Man, these guys run a fucking hell of a lot of cover six, cover six inverts, cover nines. And they'll try again here first and goal after the false start. Here we go, they're set in the house. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a good return. Well, sometimes you fuck, fall asleep at the wheel. You fuck up your own perfect game. And you get mad at the computer. It's actually your fault. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. Well, from zero yards to now having nine. And when it's the fourth quarter, they just don't miss passes. Doesn't matter if I get in clean through. Doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. It's just fuck my game up. That's all it is. Get to the fucking house. There you go, BJ. Oh, that's Julio Jones. It's extra points there. I don't know if it makes up for the loss in the fucking yardage that I gave up. We give up two first downs. Let's take a look. Only one first down and 18 yards.
sure that they laid it on him in this game. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's loose again. Past the 20. And he brings this one all the way back. So definitely good for the individual stats. Maybe not for our storyline, but he's in for the late score. Lutz with the extra point. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I need four first downs and 70 passing yards. Why? Well, they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort. There's enough time to get two of these. He's okay. okay. Trying to practice, right? That you you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But yeah, this game pretty much done. First one's always a little annoying because you're coming the wrong path. Getting out of bounds is harder, especially against a fast corner. Car gonna throw here. Buying time to his left. Looking left side of his got a man. Third first down. Here. Before he crosses over out of bounds. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now he's got it. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. And they'll try again here for the goal after the false start. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. And they'll try again here for more after the false start. And here's motion again, and that's going to be two in a row. They'll try again here first and goal after the false start. Over a zero, so they're coming here. Now car. Touchdown. That's caught. Devontae Adams. There is my touchdown threshold. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. Again, they'll throw with car. Rolling to his right. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Well, personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. And there he goes again. Hey. The 20. So I need six passing yards in the first down. Then I can switch to rushing. Take away the rest of the time. good on the extra point and that'll cut the lead back down to 21 what nice so the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw this will be fielded inside the five and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 another opportunity now for the Browns offense and a few kneel downs oh just my about god it. man Defensively, they do have all three times have any other plays it's every fucking drive and now we've got flags down look like one of the browns might have moved car gonna look to throw throw left side complete that's adams and he's brought down getting this one up to about the 35 Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And 
Explain that to me. What happened there? I don't even know. Hold on. Let's see. That's gonna go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. <laughs> okay. Got it. Nothing. Just they wanted to fuck me. That's okay. Not horrible. All right, guys, fits is nice. So it would have been a little nicer to get a couple more points. Let's see where what the next one looks like. Four hundred more points for fourth. Well, guys, that's pretty awesome. We'll see how we can do. We can still have a good next part of the week. See what happens. If we can pull off all 13 games. I mean, a top five finish would be nice. A top ten finish would be nice. A number one finish would be nice. So, let's we'll see what happens. On that note, guys, it is uh, always a pleasure. I hope you guys got some enjoyment. You learned something. Uh, it's a couple nights in a row where I've said after I'm done playing, we'll do marbles. But nobody's ever on for marbles. So maybe we'll have to have a marbles early another night. I'm not really sure. But uh, like, subscribe, follow, comment. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. All right.